Welcome back everyone, this is Chad with IREC Veteran 8888. Today we're in McDonough, Georgia at Quiet Right Firearms and we're going to be discussing the Silencer Shop kiosk system today. The Silencer Shop has really made silencer ownership simplified over the past several years. And Silencer Shop as a whole has done a lot for the NFA community to make this buying process much easier. Okay, if you guys don't know, the National Firearms Act is a bill that was introduced in 1934 and it regulates NFA items, okay, which include suppressors, short barreled rifles, short barrel shotguns, any other weapons, and even machine guns. The NFA regulated also a tax to be associated with these items, and they also had to be registered with the federal government, okay, with the ATF. The popularity of NFA items has really blossomed in the past several years, okay? I think a lot of it has to do with just the advocacy of a lot of the big companies in the NFA realm, uh, like Silencer Co., for example. Um, just bringing NFA ownership into the forefront and advocating for that, that ownership. Just look back maybe 10 years ago, okay, 2010, there were only 33,000 plus Form 4s submitted, okay, and most of those are probably suppressors, all right? Fast forward to 2019, that number jumps up to 170,000, okay? In 2020, we saw an even higher increase in the amount of Form 4s processed. So today in this video, we're gonna go through the process of actually putting our demographic information in, doing our fingerprints, and just show you exactly how easy this process is. So uh, let's get going. All right, so the first step in the process is to hop on silencershop.com and create an account. Now, the next step is to actually choose a suppressor. You can either purchase through Silencer Shop or you can purchase through your Powered by Silencer Shop dealer. Here at Quiet Right Firearms, they have a ton of suppressors in stock to choose from. And if you've done your research and you know what you want to buy, you go ahead and purchase that and purchase your tax stamp and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, after you create your account on silencershop.com, you will be sent a QR code. All right, if you are a previous account holder on Silencer Shop, you can go back in with this key here, fill in the first four lines, and you can request a new QR code to continue. Um, if you've already gone through this process, all of your information will pull up, your fingerprints and everything else. What we're discussing in this video is a new customer though, so we're gonna click this here. I've got my QR code pulled up on my phone here. I've got the brightness turned all the way up. We're just gonna use the handy dandy camera. Boom. All right, now obviously I'm blocking out pertinent information because I don't want you guys showing up at my house, but we can see here, the customer profile is complete. We still need to do fingerprints. We still need to capture a signature and we need to upload a photo. All right, we're gonna do all this through the kiosk. Let's go. So the kiosk will actually give you a lot of information on completing this process yourself, but the folks who work in the shop of your choice they're gonna be able to help guide you through the kiosk process. All right, so now we're gonna go in through and we're gonna capture our fingerprints. You will hear some noise in the background because this is a working gun shop, guys. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and continue here with our fingerprints. All right, the scanner is gonna kind of turn on here and the screen is gonna give you all the information that you need, all right? The folks in the shop can also help you along with this process. They kind of know the quirks and the ins and outs of these machines. So we're gonna go ahead and continue here. It's gonna tell you exactly what to start with. So we're gonna get a little bit of lotion. Okay, blotion, as my niece will say. All right, this helps capture your fingerprints a little bit easier. So first we're gonna do our four left fingers. And obviously you're gonna wanna go in the green area. I mean, green is good, red is bad. As you scan, you're just gonna accept. Very good. All right, the next step, guys, is gonna be rolling your prints. It's gonna ask you to do your left little finger to begin with. Now you're gonna get this amber box pops up. You're gonna lay your finger, okay, on the side, inside the box, all right? Once it turns green, you can proceed to roll very lightly. All right, we've got a good print there. All right, we're gonna accept that and we're gonna move on. Now you're gonna to move to your left ring. Obviously, you guys can see how this process is gonna continue on. Left ring finger, a little bit of pressure, lightly roll. All right, as I mentioned, as you get your prints rolled, you can simply accept and move on. We're gonna continue this process until all of our fingerprints have been captured by the kiosk. On the next screen, you'll see your NFA registration options. You can file as a trust, an individual, a corporation, or if you happen to be listed as a trustee on someone else's NFA trust, you'll select the last option and go through the process as we've been talking about here in this video. Now, with the trust, there's a couple of different options. Silencer Shop offers what's called a single shot trust. 
Now, it differs from a traditional NFA trust in that with a single shot trust, each trust is individualized to each NFA item. With a traditional gun trust, you have all of your NFA items scheduled under that single trust. With a single shot trust, it gives you the benefit of a traditional gun trust, but you have the capability of filing more like an individual and the ease of use therein. Now, with a trust, with the advent of 41F, uh, all responsible persons within that trust have to come in and submit their demographic information and their fingerprints, okay, just like you would if you were filing as an individual. All right, as an individual, I've already completed that process, and I'm just going to continue on here. Okay. It'll bring up all of my information. We can just click next here. Now all that information is previously filed already with your account information. All right, so you would have already filled all this out. You can simply continue on and verify all of your information as it pops up here. The next screen will give the questionnaire that you see on a standard like 4473, okay? These are going to ask you if you're under indictment, if you've got a felony conviction, a fugitive from justice, and so on and so forth. Simply fill out the questions as they pertain to you and move on with life, okay? All right, the next screen that's going to pop up is going to give you a code to scan uh, either on the App Store or Google Play to install the Sponsor Shop app. The app is how you will upload your current passport photo to the system. All right guys, hopefully this video has been informative on how to use the Science Shop kiosk. Once all of that information is in the Science Shop system, uh, your dealer will assign your information to whatever item that you purchased. All right, at that point, Science Shop is gonna put together all of your documentation once they receive your trust or any other necessary documentation. And you're gonna get an email. All right, within that email, there's gonna be a DocuSign document you will simply pull this up, and it's hard to believe, you'll pull this up on your phone, and you can even use your finger on your phone to sign this document, send it back, and then that's it. I mean, the process could not be any easier. But I want to give a special shout out to our friends here at Quiet Riot uh, for allowing us in a little bit early before the store opened to kind of get this video filmed for you guys. Also, I'd like to thank all of our Patreon supporters and those of you who purchased man cans and other paraphernalia over on the website. Uh, we've got some great t-shirts and stuff available now. Uh, all that money comes right back in and supports the channel and supports getting these videos out to you guys. So anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. And thanks again to our friends at Quiet Riot here and hope you guys have a good day.